हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवंस फ्रॉम डीजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 78 यूट्यूब लॉन्चर्स 100 मिलियन डॉलर्स पे आउट फंड फॉर कंटेंट क्रिएटर्स टू कॉम्बैट टिकटॉक यूट्यूब शॉर्ट्स अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म वीडियो पब्लिशिंग प्लेटफॉर्म वाज लॉन्चड लास्ट ईयर एंड मेड इट्स डेब्यूट इन मार्च इन द यूएस द 100 मिलियन डॉलर्स फंड विल बी यूज्ड फॉर फाइनेंसिंग ऑफ वीडियोस दैट रिसीव द मोस्ट व्यूज एंड एंगेजमेंट्स यूट्यूब शॉर्ट गार्नर 6.5 बिलियन व्यूज डेली Asus Zenfone 8 series has been launched today. Asus Zenfone 8 series is powered by a Snapdragon 888 chipset which runs on Android 11 with Zen UI 8 which describes a mindful improvement over stock Android. The Petite flagship has a 5.9 inch AMOLED display with 1080p resolution and a 20 is to 9 aspect ratio. We can also see that this phone has a Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and an IP68 dust and water resistant rating. The panel has 120 Hz refresh rate and 240 Hz touch sampling rate and on the back there is is a dual camera with a 64 megapixel sensor the same imx 686 has used as zen phone 7 generation this camera features optical image stabilization and can record 8k video at 24 frames per second and 4k video at 60 frames per second and 1080p with 60 frame per second with hyper steady the second camera on the back is based on 12 megapixel the selfie camera on the front uses the new 12 megapixel camera the usb c port supports 30 watt hyper charge for fast and safe charging usb power delivery p PS are supported as well. The powered is wired for only USB 2.0 connectivity however. Asus offers a phone with 128 and 256 GB storage with 3 RAM options 6 GB, 8 GB and even 16 GB of RAM. Asus Zenfone 8 will be available for order later today in Europe and Taiwan. The early bird price is 600 euros. After that the cost will go up to 700 euros. This phone will be available in other regions too and more details will be revealed. Asus Zenfone 8 flips is defined by its flip up camera. It's a triple camera that sets up a 3x telephoto lens to add what the smaller phone has to offer the flip is also powered by snapdragon 888 chipset it comes with a 8gb of ram and either 128gb or 256gb of ufs 3.1 storage this phone has a 6.67 inch amoled display that has same 1080p resolution of 20 is to 9 aspect ratio it runs at the same 90 hertz refresh rate and 200 hertz touch sampling rate It has a older Gorilla Glass 6. It has not as bright as its Zenfone 8 display, but it boasts has the same HDR 10 plus certification and excellent color rendering. The triple camera is same too with the 64 megapixel IMX 686 main sensor and 12 megapixel IMX 363 sensor in the ultra wide module is the same too. As is the 8 megapixel omnivision sensor in the telephoto lens. As before, it offers 3x magnification and up to 12x digital zoom. It supports 5000 mAh battery with 30 watt hyper charge. The flip may lack a 3.5 mm headphone jack but it also have a stereo speakers with dedicated NXP Mano amplifier and it also supports a high resolution audio certification. The speakers are tuned by Direct Research just like the ones on the ROG phone. Like its sibling the Asus Zenfone 8 Flip can be pre-ordered in Europe and Taiwan later today starting at 800 euros. You can find it in online on asus.com available for other regions will be announced soon. Google has announced via blog post that it will now allow US based users to send money to their friends and family located in India and Singapore using Google Pay. The company has partnered with Western Union and Wise to enable this feature. Apart from this, the company also stated that it will soon roll out the feature for over 200 countries and territories with the help of Western Union and 80 more countries via Wise. Apple App Store has stopped more than 1.5 billion dollars in potentially fraudulent transaction in 2020. In 2020 alone, Apple's combination of sophisticated technology and human expertise protected customers for more than 1.5 billion dollars in potentially fraudulent transactions, preventing the attempted theft of their money, information and time, and kept nearly a million risky and vulnerable new application out of their hands. South Korean tech giant Samsung Electronics officially announced its withdrawal from the 2021 Mobile World Congress scheduled to hold in June in Barcelona, Spain. Citing safety concerns for its employees, the company say it will instead focus on a virtual presence for the duration of the event slated from June 28th to July 1st, 2021. Lenovo spokesperson to have hinted that the company will attend virtually instead of in person. The company also indicated that it had informed the GSM association which organizes the event. went about its plans along with samsung and lenovo google ericsson sony and nokia who had all ruled out of physical presence in the barcelona conference 
Instagram has introduced a new feature that will allow you to add pronouns into your profile. You will now be able to add up four pronouns to your Instagram profile which will appear next to your Instagram username. Instagram has stated that people can fill out a form to have a pronoun added in case it is not already available. In the wake of second wave of COVID-19, Poco has announced an extension of warranty on its phone by two months. This applies to all those Poco customers who have their phone's warranty ending in May and June. Hence, the customers can take benefits of the warranty until August. Poco also reaffirms no product launches during the month of May 2021. Poco M3 Pro launch date is set for May 19th in the global market. The handset is expected to be a rebrand of the Redmi Note 10 5G. Poco M3 Pro specifications could include a 6.5 inch Full HD plus LCD display. It comes with a MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor and a 5000 mAh battery. Poco M3 Pro will be the company's first budget 5G phone. The Chinese company Xiaomi is no longer backlisted by the US government. Following a lawsuit to US courts, according to Bloomberg, sites agreed upon the path forward that would resolve this litigation without the need of the contested briefing, meaning the US Defense Department backed down the delisting the manufacturer from global benchmark indexes. Xiaomi is all set to launch its latest true wireless earbuds tomorrow with the MI Flip Buds Pro. They are touted as flagship grade earphones with active noise cancellation and now Xiaomi Group Vice President Chang Ching has revealed some key information ahead of tomorrow's announcement. The Flip Buds Pro will offer an in-ear design with adjustable rubber tips. The charging case features an oval shape and gloss black finish with an LED light showing you your remaining battery charge level. Back in November of last year, the Oppo X 2021 rollable concept smartphone was unveiled. Now it seems like Xiaomi is also working on a rollable design of its own after a recent patent has surfaced, revealing a scroll-like smartphone design. As per the patent description, the company states that the product is a rollable smartphone design which also includes the housing region that stores the display in a rolled up and unfolded states as well. Last year, two Xiaomi backed companies, ZMI and Zizu Life, launched portable fans to beat the heat in summer. A year later, ZMI is back with another such product with a unique design. The company calls a ZMI hanging neck folding fan. The new ZMI portable fan is different than the model released last year. As the name suggests, this fan can be folded to position it as per the requirement. But the main highlight that it can be worn around the neck with the help of an included adjustable nylon lanyard. Realme Narzo 30 is confirmed to ship with a 90Hz display. Other Realme Narzo 30 specifications include a MediaTek Helio G95 chipsets and a 5000mAh battery with 30W fast charging. PlayStation Virtual Reality 2 is coming. The new PlayStation 5 Virtual Reality may get a 4K displays, haptic control and eye tracking. The Sony PlayStation VR 2 is expected to offer significant improvements to the VR gaming experience by offering foveated rendering, something that make a big impact. HTC has announced the HTC Vive Pro 2 and the Vive Focus 3 VR headsets at the company's Vivicon 2021 event. The biggest change that the Vive Pro 2 offers is that it now has a FICA resolution, 120Hz refresh rate and a 120-degree field of view. The Vive Pro 2 comes with a high-end headset that has an adjustable strap. Similar to the Oculus Quest 2, the Vive Pro 2 offers a fine-tuned interpupillary distance adjustment. The headphones integrated with the Vive Pro 2 and high-resolution audio certified. The HTC Vive Pro 2 is priced at around $799 that is $58,675 Indian rupees. The Vive Pro 2 also includes a kit as well that is equipped with a base station 2.0 and controllers. It is priced at around $1,399 that is $1,2735 Indian rupees. This headset will be available for purchase from June 4th. As far as the pricing of the Vive Focus 3 goes, it retails for around $1,300 that is $95,447 Indian rupees, and it will be available for purchase from June 27th. MediaTek has a new processor coming soon that has been a part number MT6877. The chipset which is currently referred to as Dimensity 900 has been benchmarked on Antutu and it has given us an idea of what to expect with respect to its performance. According to Digital Chat Station, a test device powered by the chipset scored about 480,000 points in the benchmark test. That score put its high above the Dimensity 820 and a Snapdragon 768G which both have a score of about 440,000 on the same benchmark platform. 
Nokia is planning to expand its smartphone portfolio in the Indian smartphone market with the launch of its Nokia G10 and G20 handsets. There are numerous leaks and rumors about the phones and handsets that have been also spotted in several certifications and benchmarking website. In the latest development, the smartphones are listed on the Indian BIS certification website, hinting towards an imminent launch. Amazon has refreshed two of its smart displays, the 2021 edition of Echo Show 5 and Echo Show 8 bring upgraded cameras and new feature. It has also announced a kit's version of a smaller model. Echo Show 8 comes with a new octa-core processor which Amazon has deliberately not named. The new chipset should provide the additional power needed for some of the new features such as planning and zooming with the new 13 megapixel camera while making a video call. The new Echo Show 5 now has a 2 megapixel camera but doesn't have a pan and zoom feature of the Echo Show 8 but gets the motion feature that activates routines such as turning off the lights when you enter a room. Echo Show 5 Kits Edition has the same specifications but get a multicolor fabric on the rear. It also comes with a 1 year of Amazon Kits Plus service and a 2 year warranty that covers all damages. This special edition costs $94.99. All three devices have camera shutters and buttons to turn off the microphone and camera off. While the Echo Show 5 is priced at Rs 84.99 dollars, while Echo 8 cost is not act revealed. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.